they said, you know, we we feel there's actually a foot or the feet are in the birth canal and there's just no turning back at this point. Feet first are words that any expectant mother wants to hear. In Heather Bush's case, they were her baby's death sentence. She was less than six months pregnant when it happened. And that's quite serious because at 23 and a half weeks, you're really at the limits of viability. Survival for the baby would be expected to be less than 5%. Heather and her husband Jimmy were excited to be expecting another child, a sister for Camden. But one night, about 22 weeks in, Heather noticed some bleeding. It wasn't expecting any trouble um, since I had never had any, um, and fear, um, which is, you know, it's always been a big battle for me, worry and fear. I was pretty clueless as to, you know, how big a problem it was. Heather's doctor put her on bed rest, but wasn't alarmed. So Jimmy went on a scheduled business trip to Japan. Great. We're done. Now, now I can focus on work stuff and everything will be fine, just like Camden's was. But everything was far from fine. A week later, Heather started bleeding again, and a friend rushed her to the hospital. As soon as I got in there, things happened really quickly, and it was right when I got in, um, my water broke, and then they said, well, we need to examine you, and the feet are in the birth canal, and there's just no turning back at this point. So 23 weeks, we just, you know, we, we can't even try to save the baby. There's not enough um, development. That night was the worst of Heather's life. Her mom and friends came to comfort and pray with her. And they said when she's born, you know, you can hold her and, um, you know, just until she dies if you want, or we can help you with that or however, but there's nothing that we can do. We won't take any life-preserving measures. And that, for me, was the absolute hardest, was just not you know, knowing that nothing was going to be done, you know, that I just had to hold, you know, hold my baby until she died. And so, and, I, you know, the, the biggest part of that was just that Jimmy wasn't there, you know, and knowing that I was probably going to get to meet her and see her and he never would. So it was really, really hard. <laughs> Jimmy booked the first flight home. He couldn't believe what Heather had told him. That was when she really told me, um, you know, the baby's probably going to be dead by the time you get off your next flight. I just, you know, just right there, just hit my knees and, God, <laughs> I can't deal with this. Just take this away from me. It's just helplessness, uh, you know, that I couldn't be there to help or really even be there to experience it with her. Through tears, Heather and Jimmy named their daughter over the phone, Kaya May. Then Jimmy asked her to lower the phone so Kaya could hear Daddy's voice one last time. He sang, Good night, sweetheart. I would wake up and just feel, you know, so sad that, no, this still has to happen. You know, I still have to I have to see my daughter die, you know, and just that, um, that reality that just made it a horrible night, you know. I just kept, you know, claiming those, those verses of, um, you know, all things work together. That was the beginning. All things work together for good for those who love the Lord and are called according to His purpose. And the other part I mentioned about, you know, neither life nor death can separate us from the love of Christ. And just those, just kept repeating those verses, you know, just really gave me that sense of peace that, you know, no matter what happened and no matter how sad I was, I wasn't alone. Morning came and Heather's doctor examined her. Then he said he wanted to do another ultrasound. To see her knowing that, you know, she's soon going to be dead, you know, was just unbearable to me. The doctor called his partner in to take a look at the screen. We were asked to evaluate her the next morning after she came in with her rupture of membranes. And at that point, her membranes had resealed. That's very unlikely to happen. And when he looked at that ultrasound picture, she was not in breech position. Her head was down and there was plenty of fluid and he just didn't know what to think and called, you know, the other, the other doctor in. And, and then they presented all this to me as I think he, you know, held my hand and said, okay, we've got some, some news. Heather gladly turned the corner from utter discouragement to hope. Jimmy didn't know he was about to join her. I did not want to make that phone call. You know, I sat down and, you know, it was great. <laughs> That's my favorite uh, phone I've ever used. We don't know what's going to happen, but just thinking, this is going to be a miracle. You know, this is, it didn't, you know, this didn't happen for no reason. And something big is going on here. The Bushes celebrated every week that went by, most of which Heather spent on bed rest. Kaya made it all the way to 40 weeks and a bit beyond. As the doctor said, the Bushes got their miracle. As soon as he walked in, he said, so I hear I get to deliver the miracle baby. And <laughs> he said, I've heard a lot about this one. Probably less than 5% of patients that rupture in the mid-trimester will seal 
the membranes and reaccumulate the fluid, but that's indeed what she did. The culmination of, you know, so much prayer by that point. Plus, she looked like me, so, you know, <laughs> I like that a lot. Heather and Jimmy were each deeply changed by the whole experience. We're not in control, and God, God is in control, and sometimes that just doesn't make any sense, how, you know, how things play out and how things end up, but there is peace and there is, um, there is a way to, you know, hold on to your faith during whatever circumstance, no matter how it plays out and how, um, you know, what the ending to the story is. This really taught me was just the power of having um, a community around you, um, you know, that are praying for you and also just there for you. He still works miracles and he still does amazing things.